fan of Brock Lesnar. He has the whole Minnesota wrestling hopes riding on his shoulders. A win by him will be a win for Jay Robinson and a first Division I victory in wrestling for Minnesota. I, I am just a little excited about uh, this match. We got a heavyweight final that could be very, very competitive here. The power of this youngster, Brock Lesnar of Minnesota, against the experience and really a very talented athlete in Stephen Neal. These men have never met. And actually, we talk about a wrestling title in Minnesota. University of Minnesota has not had an NCAA championship since their hockey team in 1979. Single leg, Neal has Lesnar. Not yet, there, took the wrist out, he'll take it again. Keep trying to fold that hip down, he'll walk his hips over Lesnar's once he grounds him down. There's a double now. Lesnar with a nice whizzer powers his way out. And Lesnar with the underhook and a little shoulder. T.J. Kerr, the coach for Cal State Bakersfield. And there's the speed. Of, there's the speed and experience of Stephen Neal. He scouted Lesnar. He knows he has a power double. When Lesnar blew in, he sidestepped, winged his hips, what we call spinning, got around behind first points. The best thing for Stephen Neal probably throughout this tournament was not to listen to the buildup, to the hike that was leading up to this inevitable matchup. There's an escape. He cuts him loose. Lesnar with a point. 2-1. I think everybody wanted to see somebody compete with Neil. We watched him against Iowa State in the finals. Heineck last year and just dominated him, dominated this entire tournament until he's run into this guy, Lesnar. But he has wrestled with the very best in this country. He has grown. Remember when he was lean, looked like a basketball player. He's now got a lot of meat on that body. But he's just not, he's not going after Lesnar with absolutely no respect. He seems to be approaching him calculating, very careful. Well, I think one thing Stephen Neal wants to get across to the fans, and everybody is impressed every time that Lesnar takes his jersey off, is that just being big doesn't mean that you can win a heavyweight title. I'll take skill over muscle any day, but you can guarantee, I'll guarantee you that Robinson at Minnesota has been giving him double doses of people like Marty Morgan, a former national champion, even Hartung, I bet, scraps with him a little bit just to give him all kinds of feel so that he can help with his evolving wrestling style head to head almost too much respect by neil now he should yeah. be going in there 20 seconds to go in the opening period referee daryl henry says hey let's get moving guys he might be inviting brock lesnar here to be more aggressive Stall caution to both wrestlers. Five seconds. So after a flurry of action, gave a takedown by Stephen Neal at a 2-1 after the first period. Boy, this is setting it up for something big. Back in a moment. There are the team standings. Iowa with a two-point lead over Minnesota. A win by Lesnar means four points and a team NCAA victory for Jay Robinson and his Golden Gophers. Another escape now for Lesnar. We're tied at two. Second period action. Lesnar got away, and it seemed as though he was really happy with himself doing that. The longer this match goes with the score close, I think it starts to bring Minnesota very strongly back into it. Nice split screen. Robinson on the bottom, T.J. Kerr on top, Bakersfield coach. Robinson wins here. If he can get Lesnar to victory, Minnesota's going to win the national title. And the way this is stacking up now, it looks as though Lesnar here is going to be in a competitive match with Stephen Neal. Many thought Neal's experience, including myself, would overwhelm Brock Lesnar, but it hasn't. And this, this youngster is responding well to the pressure of the state of Minnesota against the state of Iowa in wrestling. And with Cal State Bakersfield throwing in the middle. <laughs> All right, a minute two left in the second period. The fans wanted that heavyweight feel. They wanted the glitter, the glamour of this final match of this tournament. And they wanted a little more action, but I tell you, respect is what's going on out there at center stage. came here, people have seen Stephen Neal for a couple years, and people wondered, how good is he? Nobody's really been competitive with him. 
And we took them for granted. This year, when Brock took off that shirt, all you hear is, oh my gosh, and ooh. <laughs> and you wonder, does that bother Neil? So much respect going to this first-timer, but he's lived up to his billing as a first-timer. A sensation the first time out here in the national tournament. But it's Neil who still has that experience. And experience counts in tough times. 2-2, 20 seconds left in the second period. No riding time for either wrestler at this point. And you know the tension can only build more and more. Pulling on the head, yanking, but no commitment, no change of levels. Nobody really taking an effective shot. And well, after the bell, there's a shot. Earlier, we saw Lesnar throw a shoulder at Neal on the way back from a stalemate. And right there, Neal hands it back. And that's the end of the second period in this heavyweight matchup. Lesnar tied with Stephen Neal 2-2. Two to two. And now they flip the coin. And it is Neal down. Lesnar, superior position on top. Okay, what, a, what a situation for this first-year gopher. Not only is he in the finals for an individual championship, but he's holding the, spurt, the weight of the team title on him as well. And he's got a defending national champion in front of him. Well, you got to wonder also how much has Neil been going to school in the last couple of periods? Can he break out for one big takedown? Lesnar has the biceps to use this. But he's got to move up. It's Neil. He's going to move up. He doesn't want to get hit for stalling. This will be a point. I don't know if Brock realizes this, but he's got to move here and improve his position. There he goes, just a bit higher. Past the crook in the knee. And out of bounds again. And Neil goes down hard. He's all right. So no riding time. Zero riding time for both wrestlers. Brock flirted with a stall call there by the official. And now he lifts. Neil out of bounds. Neil will take that in three seconds, and Brock has to expend a lot of energy to lift him up and just take him out of bounds. <laughs> Jay Robinson, apoplectic over on the side. Oh, I... Just sit and watch. Pick him up, they say. There's the point. Three to two now, and it's going to come down to a final takedown. Minute 19. Who's going to get it? The defending champion? to maintain dynasty or is it going to be the newcomer to initiate the destiny line a minute and four seconds left in the ncaa season it will it be iowa as a team champion or minnesota and brock lesnar now has the opportunity they're down to 50 seconds if he can put together one combination he might be able to take down Stephen Neal and do it for the Gophers. You gotta go, you gotta go. That's the word from the Minnesota bench. Lesnar's gotta go, but maybe he doesn't know which avenue to go. He's got a power double. He just needs to yank and rip and go under. Use what got him here. 25 seconds. And if it remains status quo, Iowa will come nowhere it seems and win their fifth straight team title 18 seconds can brock lesnar get a hold of stephen neal he's got to go now 10 seconds now tries to go low and at about the four seconds to go Looks like Stephen Neal's feeling it a little bit. He knows he's in a good position here, leading by a point. And he'll hang on. Stephen.